A Lyft driver says that three passengers attacked him in Miami after asking them not to smoke in the car. Um, I would say that's a given, right? And maybe if we don't have these no smoking signs up yet, please go out and get them on Amazon, right? Because you don't want your face to end up looking like this. And again, it goes to the issue why we strike safety, right? Who are those three people? Probably, again, prepaid cards, no records, no pictures, no real names. And this is what happens, right, when you get in the car. Look, there is an absolute no smoking rule in any of my cars. If you smoke in the car, um, if you tolerate smokers, there will be people that will give you a one star rating because they don't like that smell. Right. But my advice to you is get your stickers so you don't end up looking like this. A Lyft driver badly beaten after an alarming attack in Miami. Police say the rideshare scare happened when three passengers assaulted that driver. Seven's Taylor Stewart has more on how the company is now responding. Miami police investigating an attack on a Lyft driver that left him bloody and bruised. That violent ride ending here along Northwest 27th Avenue and 35th Street. I have an injury on my hand. Fire rescue paramedics bandaged my hand. I have a cut on my mouth and my face. Rideshare driver Johan Sanchez says he was assaulted by the three men he picked up early Saturday morning. He says they roughed him up after he asked them not to smoke in his car. They know what they did wrong. God will do justice. Simply, they had no reason to do this to me. Simply, I asked them to not smoke inside my car, and they were beyond aggressive. Police unable to find them either, and Sanchez says he couldn't reach the staff at the rideshare company. I know it's not easy. Uber and Lyft drivers work hard and are surrounded by dangerous people daily. At times, we come across cases like this. Saturday afternoon, Lyft releasing this statement that reads in part, Assault of any kind is not tolerated by the Lyft platform. We've permanently removed the rider from the Lyft community and reached out to the driver to offer our support. Taylor Stewart, today in Florida. So this is the little standard uh, BS reply that they give, right? It's a cut and paste, but they're not doing anything about it, right? And, and Uber and Lyft, listen up. If you still think that the St. Patrick's joke uh, St. Patrick's Day strike was a joke. Good luck to you because we're going to strike again, right? Because we're not going to stand for this nonsense and you're going to lose a lot of money again and your name is going to be all over the newspapers, the radio stations, the TV stations. Uh, editors are going to be writing on it. So it's up to the companies now to take action or this is going to happen again and again and we're going to strike again and again.